everybody, I have another Tommy Pocket game to review. It is Catch a Caterpillar. Now, does this game look familiar to you? It might, because previously I covered Magda Target, which is basically the same name or same game, but they changed the name and added different graphics. And clearly, Catch a Caterpillar is supposed to be a knockoff of Centipede which ironically came out about the same time. Now, this came out in 1980, this in 83, and you know what else came out in 83? Centipede for the Atari 2600. So obviously, it seems that they were trying to capitalize on that. I do dig the artwork, even if it's not officially Centipede. How many caterpillars can you catch? To play, remove the stopper from the target, release the from the target release button. Press the release button to free any balls stuck in the opening at the top of the game. Tilt the game until all the balls are lined up in the firing chute on the right side. Now pull back the shooter on the bottom to get the ball into the firing range. Snap the shooter to fire. Try to shoot the ball into the center opening at the top of the game, tipping the game any way you want. That's a that's a good uh idea to tip the game in order to score points the ball must stick to the opening if you succeed try to shoot the next ball so it sticks to the first ball if you don't succeed try again you get the number of points next to each ball that sticks the more balls that fall into a straight line the more points you will score but watch out just when you think you've got it made one ball might knock off all the rest when you've shot all the balls add up your score ages five and up so obviously where the ball lands that's how many points it's worth so the, let's push, let's see, right there is the release button. Let's let's do the release. So you start at 20 and you go, go all the way to 80. Uh, if you watch my Magna Target review, I'm not very good at this kind of game, but let's go ahead and see. Let's tilt this thing. There we go. Ooh, got two, got three, got four, got five. Ooh, but I got a second chance. Let's see, let's, ooh, that's my best yet. So that went to six. Where's the other? Oh, there's a, the second ball right there. That's one of the best I did ever at one of these games. Let's try it one more time. I don't know that I'll do any better, but let's just like that. Oops, not strong enough. There we go. And I think the key is as, as you um, get a longer line, you want to tilt it a little more. And that time I got to the 50, so I'd have like, I guess both of those would be 20. Is that a 10? It doesn't say. So those would be 20. So that's 40, 70, 110 if I added up there. If I got to 50, um, 160 if I'm doing the math right in my head. So this is, you know, it's a cute game. I definitely like the centipede style more than I like the Magna Target style, but both are similar. It's not going to change my ranking of the game. If you want this, sellers on eBay were asking $10 to $15 for these shipped. None had sold recently, but it does take me back to kind of like that 80s kind of time. I do like the graphics, as I said, better, even if it's not officially Centipede. But that's just what I think. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and let's go see where this fits in my rankings. At 24, I have Bowling. At 23, I have Racing Game. 22 is Sentence Nonsense. 21 is Magna Target, and today's game, Catch a Caterpillar. 20 is Clown Catcher. 19 is Letter Loose. 18 is Pass the Puck. 17 is Motocross. 16 is Kissing Game. 15 is Dragon Trap. 14 is Space Invasion. 13 is Biplane Battle slash Copter Fight. 12 is Turn and Tilt. 11 is Pachinko. 10 is Seal Circus. 9 is Loop Shot. 8 is Amazing Maze. 7 is Pocket Poker. 6 is 1970s Baseball. 5 is Touchdown. 4 Robot Factory. 3 Pac-Man. 2 1980s Baseball. And my number one game is still Galaxian slash Burger Catch. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, click like and subscribe. Support the show on Patreon and I will see you next time.